The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Memphis Redbirds and the Iowa Cubs. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Turner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at 2 and 2. And not a bad night for baseball, and even 70 degrees here at game time. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Jose Martinez, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Full count now, three and two. Dylan Carlson will be next. Drilled to the left side, and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. At the plate, Dylan Carlson had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Two and two. Martinez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. On, he pops it up. Descalso in foul ground. Two down. Into the box now, Jerry Gonzalez. He takes his first cuts first in this one with a man at first Jerry and two away. Gonzalez. High fly ball out to deep right field. Going back is the right fielder. And what a play! A beautiful jumping catch to put an end to the inning. In now, Ian Miller. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-1 home is laid off of for ball number three. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. Carlson will get there as he tracks it down deep in foul territory for route number one. Digging in, Zach Short. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. To the plate now, Josh Fegley. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Back to the fastball, but it's upstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Locked him up with the off-speed stuff on that one. Josh Fegley becomes out number two this inning. Ah, he took something off of it there. It's one and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And it's fouled away. The set and the one-two. 
sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up, throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Max Schrock is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Made him look silly with that one. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first out. That is good. Stepping into the box, Austin Dean. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 2-1. Oh. No score here as we play inning number two. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats. Foul. 3-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And this is going to find its way in the left for a one out knock. That is seven. The third base. Nolan. Into the box, Nolan Gorman. Might have swung at ball four there as he manages to foul this one away. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. That is it. Coming to the plate now, Brian O'Keefe. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And this is in a bit tight, maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now, three and two. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The pitcher. So here now is the pitcher, Tommy Parsons, and a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Down low, two balls and a strike. To two and two now. Oh man, was that a hack? He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Hit in the air out to left field. Birch has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Daniel Descalzo. 1-1. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. That is good. The right field. Stepping in now, Mark Sagunas. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping up now, Jared Young. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 2-1 home. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now batting, Charcer Birch, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. A 1 1. Bottom of the second here with no score. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning.
New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Justin Turner. Two and one. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. Got him. Digging in for his second at bat. Jose Martinez. A base hit in his first trip. Third inning, no score to this point. And he pops it up. Short. Ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now Digging in now, Dylan Carlson. Flied out Dylan in his first at bat, so oh. make him 0 for 1 so far. No contact there, and it's 1 and 2. in deep down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball on the ground to the left side throw in time and the side is retired Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Brock Stewart. One and one, here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now that the center fielder, Ian Miller. At the plate now, Ian Miller in the dirt, but swung on and missed. A throw down to first, one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Zach Short. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dean is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Man at second here with two away. And that'll bring up the catcher, Josh Fegley. Here's the one two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. set for the start of the fourth and here comes the first baseman Jerry Gonzalez this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case now that second baseman Matt. in now Whoa. Max Schrock oh that's a whole three Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box. Austin Dean. He singled his last time up. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. 
I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. You elevate a little bit more and get back in this. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So coming to the plate, Hernan Perez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2 and 2. Fouled off. Here's another 2 2. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. The 2 2 one more time. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now batting the third baseman, Daniel At the plate, Daniel Descalzo. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Carlson has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Now with the plate, Mark Sagunas. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And the slider gets him swinging to God. So striding in, Jared Young. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. The relay throw to second but he's in there as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play to the plate now Charcer Burks maybe too much break on the slider two and one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike he's fallen behind now three and one. Fly ball out toward right field. Ah, oh, he can't track it down as this ball falls. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Now Into the box now, Brock Stewart. Ah, oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. He struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning. Now to the plate Nolan Gorman he drew a walk his first time up things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last and he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone. Stepping in now, Brian O'Keefe rolled slowly down the third baseline. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. 
Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tommy Parsons. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now back. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Justin Turner. No hits to this point. Now here's the pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Ian Miller. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. And facing right handed pitching so far in this season, Miller carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. 3 and 1 now as that misses down and in. Left side, but well fouled. going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now Not Ready for out. another shot now. Yeah. Zach Short. One for two with a double on his line thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Dean will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Digging in, Josh Fegley. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Justin Steele takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Jose Martinez. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now batting. Digging in once again, Dylan Carlson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for out number two. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jerry Gonzalez. He's one for two in this one. In the air now, out to left field. Burks is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. John Gant enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 53. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Hernan Perez in his career against this pitcher. He's gone three for four. And that misses two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Fouled away. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. At the plate, Daniel Descalzo. His line includes a single and a fly ball in two at bats thus far. Descalzo behind one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. 
Mark Sagunas is on deck. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding in, Mark Sagunas. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. At the plate now, Jared Young. High in the air out to center field. Turner will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Max Schrock. And they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to, like, the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Zagunas moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now so striding forward now, Austin Dean. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Full count, three and two. Skied into straightaway right. Zagunas is there, two down. Standing now in, that. Nolan Gorman is coming off a solo no. homer in his previous trip. Gorman. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt. And it's back to even at two and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Burks will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and digging in is the outfielder, Charcer Burks. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. The one two. <laughs> Fastball got him looking. As that had two seam action on it, one gone. PJ Higgins will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. PJ Higgins. Ball three. Three and two now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck. And you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now batting. Not good, 
Standing in now, Zach Short. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Grounded slowly to the left side. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready now. Josh Fegley. He flew out in his last at bat. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Tyler Olson will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to hit is the catcher, Brian O'Keefe. That's on the corner to put him behind now, one and two. Olson is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Brian O'Keefe goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now Digging in, Justin Turner. Justin. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Ruel Ramirez is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Standing in, Hernan Perez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Ramirez has pitched just under 60 innings. And over those innings, he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3, so he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base pass. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Now battle, the third baseman, Daniel Descalzo. At the plate, Daniel Descalzo. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now battle, right fielder. In now, Mark Sagunas. 1-1 one, one is a cutter that misses 2-1. and one. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The 3-1. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. In to score the runner from third, and that moves the lead to two here in the eighth. The first baseman, number Into the box, Jared Young. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Oh. On the ground to short. Could this be two? To second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Digging in to try it again. Charcer Burks. And their runners at the corners now. And he fouls this one off. He's set. And the one-two pitch. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. And 
and this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that and he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. And not in time as the run scores. Your Corbin Joseph lead. will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Corbin Joseph. Three and two, full count. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Your attention, please. Safe situation looming here, and they'll hand the ball off to the hard throwing right hander, Brandon Morrow. Jose Martinez will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road trying to come back against a closer. The one two. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. So digging in now Dylan Carlson. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The two one. Swing and a ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Now back to first base. To the plate now, Jerry Gonzalez. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pitch is popped up. Short as a play. Two gone. Into the box now. Max Schrock comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Line drive to left. Burks is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake. Cherry on top of the Sunday! Exclamation point. I love it. A four to one finish in this evening's game. Iowa took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Brock Stewart earns win number seven on the season. Brandon Morrow hammers down the save his 29th of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Here this evening, we remind you to please drive home safely.